Live at 4, this is 13 News Now. Last minute shoppers and people on the road for the holidays are getting some good news from Mother Nature. Right now we're feeling above normal temperatures for this time of year. Yeah, but what does the rest of the weekend have in store? Jeff is tracking the latest conditions across Hampton Roads. Jeff, how's it going? Not too bad. Temperatures, as you mentioned, out there mild, and they're going to get even warmer as we head into Saturday. Much warmer, believe it or not. We're already 10 above where we should be. You can see some low clouds out there. We've had a little bit of spotty drizzle, a couple of very isolated light showers. We're still watching a little bit of that kind of action move up out of North Carolina every so often. A few of these little spritzes of rain across parts of Hampton Roads, too. So we're obviously going to continue with that through the evening until this weak little system along the coastline pushes out. Then we're going to be in between those two systems. The one moves off the coast. The next one doesn't get here until tomorrow night. That puts us in the same kind of air that's down there over like Columbia, South Carolina and Asheville. And that's warm with just a few clouds mixed with sunshine. That's what begins to move in here right now, though. This is uh, well above normal, as I said, almost 10 degrees above where we should be. We're at 59 right now. We made it up to about 60 in most spots. Falling barometric pressure, though, as that weak system hangs in along the coastline, 30.13 inches of mercury. The forecast then for the next six hours calls for those readings to gradually be dropping, and then they don't get all that low. We end up about where a normal high is this time of year. So we'll be talking about big swings for Saturday, Big swing down for Sunday. We'll talk more about that coming up. All right, thank you, Jeff. Right now, millions of people are traveling for the holiday weekend, and today is one of the busiest travel days of the year. This is a live look at our traffic network where you can see some cars on the road out there already. Yeah, Jimmy, AAA says nearly 6 million people are actually going to be taking flights this week. 13 News Now reporter Elise Brown shows us how to stay safe if you're heading home for the holidays. Today is considered one of the busiest and worst travel days of the year. So in order to help reduce stress, preparation is key. Well, we're going to Las Vegas to uh, meet our son-in-law and his wife and spend Christmas there and probably lose a lot of money. And <laughs> so one thing Don Scott isn't going to lose is patience. That's because he gave himself plenty of time to get to Norfolk International Airport. You got to leave early. To Get here early. He and others pleasantly surprised crowds weren't overwhelming for the majority of the morning. We were expecting a bigger crowd, but they were fast at United and they just we went right through it. Mia and Ricky Jones are also beating some of the rush that's expected to increase as the day progresses. They left the kids with grandma and are heading to sunny California. We're going to see the Warriors play LeBron on Christmas Day, so I'm excited about that. For people who are just starting to travel, there are some ways to make sure the airport isn't overwhelming. Go to the desk and have all your paperwork ready. If everything's, you just plug it right in and check your bags <laughs> and, and then go to the bar. <laughs> For TSA. TSA is a beast. You, know? <laughs> you need to have everything in order ready to go. There's certain things you can and cannot bring. So we wanted to make sure we had things in order to make it as smooth as possible. All the electronics are in that bag and everything else is not. In Norfolk, Elise Brown, 13 News Now. VDOT is suspending most highway work zones and lifting some lane closures. It started earlier today and will end at noon on Tuesday, December 26th. Lanes will also reopen on Friday, December 29th and close again on Tuesday, January 2nd. NCDOT is also suspending most road closures to make holiday travel a little easier for you. It says travel lanes will stay open from 8 p.m. tonight until January 2nd. However, inclement weather will not allow construction crews to open portions of interstate state 85 in time for holiday travel. So today is one of the busiest travel days of the year. And when you hit the road this weekend, you may see a message of hope. It's a message to support police officers. The billboard says the Deermeyer family wants to thank you for what you do every day. Merry Christmas. Michelle Deermeyer's husband, Chad, was a Virginia State Trooper. You see him here and a former Newport News police officer. He was shot and killed by a gunman at a Richmond bus station. That was last year. I just don't think they get the appreciation and the respect that they deserve. Um, and so our family wants to do whatever we can to change that. And if this billboard looks familiar, it's probably because you saw it last year. And now they'll be seen nationwide. Coming up on 13 News Now at 5, we'll tell you where you can find them. 
This weekend, hundreds of Navy sailors will return home just in time for Christmas. The guided missile destroy destroyer USS James E. Williams will dock at Naval Station Norfolk tomorrow. The crew is wrapping up a seven month long deployment to Europe and the Middle East. The ship also stopped by the Arctic Circle, Iceland and Ukraine. A cooking accident at a Norfolk restaurant leaves a woman severely burned. Yeah, it happened at Rajput Indian Cuisine on 21st Street last night just after 6. So now the Gent restaurant is closed after being open for just a few hours. 13 News Now reporter Allie Weatherton joins us live with more details. Hey, Allie. Hey guys, it's a very sad story here. The woman was eating dinner at the restaurant when she was badly burned in a cooking accident. The waiter was also burned. Now this all happened around six o'clock last night. Battalion Chief Joe Milligan tells me a female customer, a customer and a male waiter were burned during that cooking accident. I'm told the woman suffered significant burns on her face and her head. The waiter was also burned on both of his arms. The victims were both sent to the hospital. Now the restaurant closed last night, but was back open by 11 this morning just for a few hours. Then it closed again this morning. The Norfolk Fire Marshal's office was in and out of the restaurant as they continue to investigate how this all happened. I hope to God she's OK. I mean, that's that is terrible. Now, the battalion chief did tell me that woman was transferred to the hospital and she may be going to the burn unit in Richmond. I did try to reach out to the owners of this restaurant. I was told by employees they are actually in India right now. Live in Norfolk, Allie Weatherton, 13 News Now. All right, thank you, Allie. One of the pit bulls that authorities say mauled a Goochland County woman to death had a history of aggression. The Goochland County Sheriff says the pit bull had previously been adopted and returned because of concerning behavior. Authorities believe Bethany Stevens was mauled by her two pit bulls while out on a walk last week. Investigators said she was killed by the dogs, which had a combined weight of about twice hers. Authorities are still investigating her death. Let's shift to politics now. Lieutenant Governor-elect Justin Fairfax says that he's leaving his law firm job in January. He's been there at his Northern Virginia firm for the last three years. Now, the move could help Fairfax avoid a potential conflict of interest in his new position. He re released a statement saying he will not take on other responsibilities before the 2018 General Assembly regular se session ends. As Lieutenant Governor, Fairfax will preside over the state Senate and break tied votes. North Carolina's attorney general is suing a company that makes a spray form of the powerful opioid fentanyl. Attorney General Joe Stein made the announcement yesterday. He says the company gave illegal kickbacks to doctors for promo promoting and prescribing the drug to non-cancer patients. So far, the company has not responded to requests for comments. 